Today's tutorial is about how to make a quick zippy loom blanket using the figure eight stitch. I knitted up the whole thing on a single Saturday, which shows you how fast this project goes. And if you're new to this Ms. Yarn channel, please subscribe and you'll get concise, easy to understand videos that have written instructions to help you along. Today we'll do the following steps. Number one, we'll start the project by casting on. Number two, we'll do the figure eight stitch. Number three, we'll add new colors since we're using gray, pink, and green. And number four, we'll bind off, which means we remove the blanket from the loom. As for the supplies, you'll need 10 zippy looms arranged in two rows, four to five balls of gray yarn, one ball of pink yarn, and one ball of green yarn. You'll also need a piece of scrap yarn for your anchor yarn. You'll need scissors, a hook, and a yarn needle. So let's get started. To begin casting on, you'll tie a knot to the side of your loom. Next, you'll wrap the top right peg clockwise and the bottom peg counterclockwise to make a figure eight. So keep making figure eights like this all the way to the left of your loom. This figure eight stitch, which I think is also called the twisted stockinette, is one of my favorite loom knitting stitches because it's fast, easy, and it creates a nice texture. So I've jumped ahead here to the very left of the loom. When you get to the very last pair of pegs, wrap the top peg, make a straight line with your yarn and wrap the bottom peg, and then rewrap the top peg. Now you're going to make figure eights all the way to the right, and you're putting new figure eights right over top of the old figure eights. I prefer to push the old figure eights down one by one as I work towards the right, but you can also push them down all at once if you like. Now I've gone ahead to the very right of my loom. I'm making a straight line with my yarn and I'm half wrapping the top peg. Then with my hook, I'm knitting over that top peg and bringing it to the center of the loom. Now we're knitting over all the bottom loops of that top row. Use the grooves to help you, and I'll meet you at the very left. So I've jumped ahead to finish knitting over along the top row. Now let's knit over the loops on the bottom row. Now the first peg only has one loop, which is normal, so we'll just skip that peg. That's what we call a slip stitch. So you'll ignore that peg and just knit over the rest. We'll meet again at the right side of the loom. Now that we're finished knitting over, we're going to tighten the cast on a bit. So we'll go to the left side of the loom and we're going to look for bumps in the middle. We're going to pull them up gently, one by one, to remove a bit of extra yarn. Now don't pull too tightly or you'll risk having a cast on edge that's smaller than the rest of your blanket. So I learned this trick from other loom knitters on YouTube and I really like it. When you do this, you won't have to tighten your cast on with your crochet hook later. So keep on removing the extra slack all the way to the right. So I'm at the right side and I've got lots of yarn to get rid of. With my left hand, I'm holding the extra yarn. With my right, I'm removing the knot that I had tied to my loom at the very beginning. Now I'm going to pull that tail to the right and I'm going to take all of the extra yarn with me. Then I'm going to tie a knot with the tail on the working yarn and I'll lay the tail across the loom. Next, I'll get my anchor yarn, which should ideally be two and a half times the length of the loom. I'll tuck the tails into the slot inside the loom and this anchor yarn should help me pull my project down as I make progress. So I'm tying a knot here. The yarn is a bit short, but I'm gonna make it work. And now the cast on is completely done, which is great. So we're gonna move on to doing three rows of figure eight stitches in gray. So you're going to do figure eights just like the figure eights that you did with the cast on. Let's do row one together and we'll remember to put our new figure eights right over top of the old figure eights. So I've just fast forwarded to the left side so I can show you how I begin knitting over. 
So as you can see, I've sort of half wrapped that bottom left peg and I'm going to knit that over. And then I'm going to knit over all of the bottom loops going all the way to the right. So I've jumped ahead to the right side now. So after we finish knitting over the loops on the bottom row of pegs, we're going to move to the top row. Now you can see that on the top right peg, you have a loop to knit over. And that's because I wrapped it at the beginning of the row. But normally when you're doing rows using the same color, you'll have one peg that has no loop to knit over. So keep knitting over to the left and you'll soon be done row one. So I've gone ahead to the very left and I'm knitting over the final loops of this row and row one is now done. So I'm just pushing down the loops to prepare for row two now. So to start row two, I won't wrap the bottom peg because that's a slip stitch. Instead, I'll start with the top peg. So there's going to be a slip stitch like the one on this bottom left peg every time we do a row that is the same color as the color before. So this is row two of the gray. And if you follow my pattern, you'll do row three in gray as well. And then you'll change to pink for row four. The pattern is in the description below. So knit on your own and we'll meet on row four to change to pink. So let's cut the gray yarn and we'll leave just five or six inches. Now you're gonna use your fingers or a crochet hook um, to bring that tail under one of the stitches that's two or three stitches towards the center. Now you're gonna tie a knot with that gray yarn and the pink yarn. So just go right over left and then left over right. And then you're going to pull on all four strands and you're going to cut off those tails and you'll try to cut them really close to the knot. So now we're gonna start working with our pink yarn. And so what's super important is that you wrap this bottom left peg. We don't want a slip stitch when we change colors for the first time, so don't ignore it. By the time you get to the right of your loom, every single peg needs to have two loops, one of the old color and one of the new color. And if not, your color change will be a bit wonky, as I've pictured above. So according to our pattern, you're going to do three rows of pink and then you're going to change to gray. So I'd like to show you the beginning of that row in gray so you can see how I wrap every single peg. So I've jumped ahead quite a bit here and I've done three rows of pink. I've already tied a knot between the old pink yarn and the new gray yarn. What I wanna show you is that I'm making sure that I wrap the top right peg. By the time I get to the left side, every peg needs to have two loops since we've just added a new color. So let me show you the pattern on the screen, but be aware that there's also a pattern available in the description below. So you'll be finishing up this section in gray, and then you're going to be doing a stripe in green. So again, the pattern is on screen and in the description below. So let's meet again when it's time to bind off, which means that it will be time to remove this small blanket from our knitting loom. So you've now done three pink stripes and two green stripes and all the gray sections in between, and you're ready to bind off, which is pretty great. So I'll bind off with my fingers, but you can use a crochet hook if you prefer. So remove the top end loop and then remove the bottom end loop. You put the top loop inside the bottom one and then you pull it upwards. Now take the next top loop, you're going to stick that inside and then pull upwards. And then you'll take the next bottom loop and then you'll put that inside and then you're going to pull upwards again. So the green on this blanket looks really blue in this section of the video and that's because I pressed the wrong button on my GoPro before filming this section. It really is more of a green than a blue. So I just wanted to get that sorted. So I think you can keep binding off on your own. Just keep working towards the left um, loop by loop and in the process you'll see that you're making a really lovely braid to go on this edge of your blanket. So I'm at the very left of the loom 
and I'm just working the final loops. When you're at one final loop, cut off the tail and put that tail through the final loop. Now we can get the loom out of the way. So I'm going to weave in that tail by working towards the right, and then I'm going to go back to the left for a few stitches and then back to the right so that it's making a zigzag. And then I'm going to go to the other end of my blanket, um, and that's the cast on edge. And I'm going to remove the anchor yarn now. So I'm cutting the anchor yarn and I'm pulling it from the left side. And here I can see um, a tail sticking out, but I can just snip that off because that's already been woven into um, that entire width of the blanket. And now my blanket is done. So if you have found this loom knitting video helpful, I'd love it if you could like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you soon.